Get ready to find your passion. Get ready to find your life. Ed Carr Carey's passion is to help others start a fire in their souls. Ed has owned and operated many successful businesses, been nationally recognized and recommended for his sales training and motivational speaking. And now, he's here to guide you into finding your passion. Here's Ed Carr Carey. From the moment you wake up in the morning until you go to bed, you're gonna make decisions. Your life is one decision after another. For all of us, your life is actually the sum total of all the decisions you've made to date. So if your life is great, <laughs> congratulations, you made good decisions. If it's bad or ugly, congratulations, you made bad decisions. So today, let's look at two things. We wanna make better decisions, but just as importantly, we wanna make faster decisions. Now there's three types of decisions that you're going to make. Almost all decisions fall into these three types and they're pretty simple. No risk decisions. This is the majority. These are decisions on what are you gonna to wear today? What coffee shop are you gonna stop in to go to work? There's no risk. It's just a decision. Then there is low risk. These decisions have a little bit more risk, but not much. And they're the second most decisions that you're going to make. This is where you're gonna go on vacation. Who are you gonna be dating? Simple things like this. There's, it's just low risk decisions. And then third, high risk. These are decisions that are kind of epic. These are going to have results, lasting results in your life. Who are you gonna marry? Are you gonna buy that business? Where are you gonna invest your money? What career are you going to choose? These are bigger decisions and therefore take more, a little more effort and time and wisdom in making them. So once we know these three decisions, we can categorize all decisions that we're going to make. And I'm gonna give you four tips now four tips once you know what decision it is no risk low risk or high risk here's four tips to make better and faster decisions number one you've got to avoid or stop avoiding decision fatigue we all go through this because we all have to make so many decisions well since so many of our decisions are no risk low risk stop it stop taking so long if you're gonna stop at a coffee shop just pick one here's the key to avoiding decision fatigue don't take more than five seconds to make a decision for no risk, low risk. Five seconds, that's it. And if you can't decide what you're gonna watch on TV in five seconds, just pick something, flip a coin, but get it done. Don't sit there for 30 minutes with your spouse arguing on what you're gonna watch or debating. You're gonna wipe yourself out. If you want a lot of fatigue and anxiety, hey, <laughs> then take your time making a decision. Number two, get comfortable with failure. Understand that at least 25% of all your decisions you're gonna make are gonna be end in failure, at least. But true failure is not making a decision. When you fail at making a decision, you at least made one. And then you can learn and make a better decision based on the input that you've learned through your failure. But understand, get comfortable with it. You're going to fail. Number three, here's how you make a high risk decision. Give yourself a time limit. This is critical. You've got to have a time limit, not five seconds, but give yourself a couple of days or a week or whatever it is. But this protects yourself so that it's not going long term. Because again, the longer you go out on these things, the more anxiety and stress you put on yourself. Make the decision, get the information you need, but make the decision within two days or five days or whatever it happens to be. And then number four, you want to stop overthinking. This is causing you all kinds of becoming paralyzed. You're the deer in the headlights. We are overwhelmed with information you can find on the web. Stop it. Get your information and make a decision. It doesn't matter if it's right or wrong at this point. The, the key is make it and then you can do a U-turn and make better directions, better decisions in the future because of the information you learn through your failure. But don't overthink these things. Make better decisions and make faster decisions. They're both important.